Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add an SRT file to your MP4 video. So let's say you have a video and you want to create a closed captions file for that video. For an example, you want to post it to YouTube, Facebook, or LinkedIn, and you want to add subtitles as a closed captions file, which is an SRT file to your videos. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that. And don't worry if your video isn't an MP4 file, it's the same process. So the tool we're gonna to be using is called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link. If not, as usual, the links are gonna be in the description and down below. Once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do have an account, we're just gonna click on the new project button. Once we're in Veed's video editor, this is where we're going to upload the video that we want to create an SRT file for. And if you already have an SRT file, you can also upload your pre-existing SRT file along with your video to edit it and customize the duration. So if we click on the upload video button right here, now we just browse through our documents until we find the video that we want to upload. So as we can see, I've got my podcast video here, which is podcastvideo.mp4. So I select it and I click on open. And now if we take a look, it's being imported into Veed's video editor. And if I click on play. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media podcast. As you can see, this is my MP4 file. And what I want to do is to create a subrip subtitle file, which is an SRT file for this video. So to add an SRT file to our video, we're just gonna click on the subtitle tab here on the left. And here we have three options. We can either upload a pre-existing subtitle file. For example, if you already have some closed captions that you just want to edit some of the text or edit some of the time and duration, we can do this. You can manually create subtitles. So this is basically you just going through the entire video and then you write out the time and edit the duration for each one. Or we can use the automatic subtitle tool, which is one of my favorite features with Veed. And this will basically automatically transcribe all of the audio from your video into text and turn this text into subtitles. And then we can then download those subtitles as an SRT file. So the first step is to actually choose the language that we're speaking in. So in this video, I'm speaking in English. So we just select English. If you're speaking in French, you can go ahead and type in French and select French. So in English, I click on start. And now Veed can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes to automatically transcribe all of the audio from your video into subtitles. And as we can see, because this is just a podcast snippet, it is just finished in just a few seconds. And now we have our subtitles that appear in three different areas. We have them in the left subtitle editor, on the actual timeline with their timings, and then on the actual video canvas right here. So because we're downloading these subtitles as an SRT file, everything to do with the style tab isn't going to matter. We can change the style, this doesn't actually matter. But if you do decide to hard code them into the video, so you go ahead and click on the export button, this will actually save the subtitles burnt into the video. But because we're downloading them as an SRT file, we're taking a different approach. Now the first step to doing this is actually heading over back to the subtitle tab. And first we just want to check our subtitles. So if I bring the video back to the beginning and I click on play. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the Social Media Podcast. I'm your host, Alec. And in this podcast, we're going to be talking about everything and anything related to social media. So get comfortable. Okay, so as we can see, our subtitles are pretty accurate. There's one mistake that I spotted, which is at the beginning of the video. And because I slur the words, I say them pretty fast. I go, hey everyone, instead of hey everyone. Veed only picked up on everyone. And to edit it, it's very simple. If I want to edit this subtitle, I just click on it. And then it will be highlighted in Veed's subtitle editor. And as we can see, it just says everyone one and to edit it I edit it as if it was normal text anywhere else so I just select it and then I'm gonna type in hey just like this I'm not gonna make them all caps hey everyone perfect and as we can see all the changes are made in real time and there we go if I want to edit the timing for a specific subtitle for example if I want this one to start at the beginning I can either click and drag and then click on the beginning stopwatch so now it will start at zero zero if I want this subtitle to end a few seconds earlier I can do so I could either put it in with my keyboard for example if I want 3.0, I can do that. And as we can see, it's now ending at 3.0. If I want it to begin at two seconds exactly, I can also do that with the keyboard. Let me just put in two, just like this, as we can see, or I could even just click and drag them on the timeline. And there we go. Once you're happy with your subtitles, text, timings, and duration, all we're gonna do to download them as an SRT file is actually head over to the options tab. And down here, we actually have download.srt. So if I actually click on download, as we can see, we have our subtitle file that's just downloaded, and that is how to add an SRT file to your MP4 videos. If you have any questions about how to add an SRT file to your MP4 video, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. At Veed, we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.